I'm going to start this lesson by finding a G. To find the G, look for three black notes in a row, and the G is the white note between them and most to the left, right here. The G that we want is the second one up from the bottom of the piano keyboard. We're going to play that G with finger number two on our left hand. In the beginning, the left hand will be bouncing back and forth between this G with finger two and this D with finger five. The D is the white note right between the two black notes there. So we're gonna go from the G with finger two to the D with finger five. In between those, the right hand is gonna play a chord. So first the G, and then we go up an octave. Here's the G an octave higher, and we're gonna go up to the B even a little higher. And with finger one, we're gonna play that B, with finger two, the D, and with finger four, this F sharp. So it's like this. Okay, so we play the G with finger two on our left hand, and then we play this chord, B, D, and F sharp, with fingers one, two, and four on our right hand. G, B, D, F sharp. And then the left hand is going to go to this D. And when we play that D, the right hand is going to release. So we have G, B, D, F sharp, release, and play the D in the left hand. Now after playing that D, we're then going to play an A, C sharp, and F sharp with fingers one, two, and four in our right hand. So we have the G, B, D, F sharp, and then the D, A, C sharp, F sharp. Now we're going to hold the G and then we're going to play B, D, F sharp on the next beat and we're gonna hold for one more beat. So it's like this, one, two, three, and then release, one, and then press down on the right hand again, two, three. So let me count that out again. One, two, three, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to do that whole sequence twice. One more time. That whole part is still going to keep playing, but we're gonna to have to use only our left hand from now on because the right hand is going to be doing something else. So the next time we play it, we're gonna play that G again with finger two on our left hand still, but then we're going to use our left hand to jump up to that same chord, and we're going to play the B, D, and F sharp with fingers four, two, and one. I'm just gonna quickly mention also that you have a lot of flexibility with the fingers that you use here, so feel free to play around with it and use the fingers that work best for you. The song is slow enough that you have plenty of time to use whatever fingers are most comfortable. Okay, so again, we're gonna have the G, and then we're gonna jump up to the B, D, and F sharp. I'm gonna use fingers four, two, and one for now. Then we have to go back to that D again, right? I'll just use finger five, and then we have to go back to the A, C sharp, and F sharp, and I'll again use fingers four, two, and one for that. So you might wanna just practice bouncing back and forth from here to here. And again, I'm gonna use finger five this time since it's easier to reach. Some people use finger two still, it's up to you. I think finger five is probably the easiest. And then back to the D and to the A, C sharp, F sharp, okay? So this is gonna keep going through this part of the song. So you might just wanna practice it. And let me count it out also. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Okay, so from the beginning, let me start it with both hands and then switch to just the left hand when it's appropriate. I just want to mention that it might sound a little different when I switch from using both hands to just the left hand, but don't worry too much about that because we're going to be adding pedal later so that difference in sound will be pretty insignificant once we put it all together. Okay, let me go over what the right hand is going to be doing now. I'm going to start with finger three on an F sharp. To find the F sharp, look for three black notes next to each other, and it's the leftmost one. The F sharp that we want is the third one down from the top of the keyboard. So we're going to do F sharp with finger three, A with finger five, G with finger four, F sharp again with finger three, C sharp with finger two. Okay, let's just do that part again. F sharp, A, G, F sharp, C sharp. With fingers three, five, four, three, two. From there, we're going to play B with finger one, C sharp with finger two, and D with finger three. So again, we have F sharp, A, G, F sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, and with the finger numbers, three, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, and from there we're going to go to an A with finger one, and then I'll cross over with finger two to play an F sharp. So again, Notice how the A and the F sharp at the end are each held for three beats instead of just one beat. All right, let's put that right hand together with the left hand. That right hand is going to come in right after we play that first G where we're only going to use the left hand. So the left hand goes from the G and then remember jumps up to the B, D, and F sharp. When we play that B, D, and F sharp, at the same time, we're going to play this F sharp with the right hand, followed by the A. So it's like this. Again, so we have the G and the chord with the F sharp, followed by the A. And then remember, the left hand is going to go back down to this D. And when we play that D, we're going to play the G in the right hand. So we have Okay, now right after the D on the next beat, we have to get up to that A, C sharp and F sharp. And when we do that, the right hand will play that F sharp. So it's like this. And then to the C sharp with finger 2. And then to the B, and we go back to the G on the left hand. So again. Okay, and from that B, we're going to go to that C sharp when the left hand comes back up to that B, D, and F sharp. And then to the D. Let's do that again. From there, we're going to go to the A when we play that D. And then it jumps back up here to the A, C sharp, and F sharp. And then the right hand will play the F sharp with the G again. Let's go up to there. And now from here, we're going to go back to what we did in the beginning, where we're going to use the right hand to play the B, D, F sharp from the same spot.
and then we're going to continue just like in the beginning. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. Now I'm also going to add in the pedal. I'm going to press the pedal down at the top of every measure. So in other words, I'm going to press the pedal here, release and press again, release and press again. And I'm just going to continue that pattern the whole way through. So let me do it from the beginning with the pedal. Mm -hmm. 